Call originally, the Five Call Stompers. And uh, we started doing some work for the BBC uh, and they said, Falco Stompers doesn't sound very good. Why don't you call, call yourself Falco Jasmine? My role was getting the band together. That's Ronnie Stevens, who's our trumpet player, and then our drummer, Norman Wakefield. And then we come to Duncan Reed on the double bass. We have, right in the middle, Alan Riley. There's a strange association with Alan, because Alan didn't like trad. So in desperation, we asked him would he play for us. And even though he didn't like it, he managed to play for 49 years, but that's another story. Uh, and then you come to, now Stan Butterworth on here, he was the clarinet player. The big one at the back of this picture, Arthur Black, and then of course there's myself. We thought we'd done very well, because on a Sunday night at Accrington Stanley Football Club, a friend of ours, he got us a gig there, and we were there in our dinner suits, <laughs> complete with dicky balls. That's the first proper gig we had. Just trundled along like that for a little while until, until we decided we were good enough. Duncan Reed's father put in the application to go and see if we could get on this Huey Green show. Went on Opportunity Knox. It was a talent show, that's, that's what it was. You performed in, in a theatre. At the end of each performance, went down to the vote. So uh, what you had to do is send cards in, uh, which we did very well because it's the only trad band that's actually got through on Opportunity Knox and we won that one. It, it, it was a fantastic show and it was a, a great showcase for, for talent really. It was an experience that you know, I won't forget. Better experience next week when we're called back again to do it again. But then we were quite blase, we'd done it once. And, and also, Star Town it was a variety show. Salvation Army Band was on, Frank Flynn, he was on. And again, that was a voting one. And then it became time for Illuminations. The Illuminations director at that time, Arthur Elliott, and he said, have you ever thought of doing anything else, you know? Would you like to just do on, play as a, a sort of warm-up band? That's where Opportunity Knox got us, really. This was Blackpool Jazz Club. We used to do a couple of gigs a year, and we'd been doing one or two jobs with, with Kenny Ball, actually. And we said that, that, well, we've got this jazz club every Thursday if you ever want to come for a play. And he says, well, when we're doing gigs, if we're coming north, we can do Blackpool. But it didn't finish there because the other people like Acker Bilt, Alex Welsh, Chris Barber, Alan Elsden, Max Colley, they came once a month. So we, we had then established ourselves as the traditional jazz centre because we played so long together that it really didn't matter if I was listening or not. You're playing for yourself. You know, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not a soloist, I'm, not a, I'm just a rhythm man that stands in the back and plonks my banjo. Uh, and I did actually join the, the Wire Levy. Because by that time, our band had disbanded. Uh, and the Wire Levy had been going for some 43 years. We were all friends together, but we were rivals in the past. There were six trad bands in Blackpool. And now the Wire Levy Stompers is an amalgamation of the six bands. We shall say we're the dregs of what's left. There comes a stage when you play for a while, and then you hit a brick wall. You'll hit something you can't get over, but you can. Young musicians, I would say, learn to read music. Don't be like me, but just follow your lead. Just go, enjoy it, because it's one of the best things. It is one of the best things in life, it's music. Corrine, Corrine, oh. Your dad is in the jail. Corrine. Corina, your daddy's in the jail. Don't try to see him. They allow no bail. 